Hi, and welcome to BMC Training Labs, the comprehensive resource for BMC products and technologies. This lab is focused on the all-new Time Machine series, BMC's first ever triathlon-specific bike. We recently launched the Time Machine simultaneously at the Ironman World Championships in Kona, Hawaii, and the Team Time Trial World Championships in Doha, Qatar. In this lab, we'll take you through the why, what, and how of this brand new range to make sure our ambitions for this bike match your needs as a multi-sport or time trial athlete. To understand the reason why this fantastic new machine looks and rides the way it does, it's important to know a bit about the history of BMC's triathlon and time trial bike development. Since 2002, we have been in pursuit of the magic formula for the absolute best performance for the combination of rider and bike. After two years of development, in 2004, BMC launched the Time Machine TT-01, which was a groundbreaking bike in several ways. It featured the first road-legal hinge fork and had an integrated seat mast, which brought integration to a previously unseen level. But more importantly, it was one of the first full carbon commercially available bikes that was made out to order based on rider dimensions. This program was called 3P, which stood for Personal Position Program. So yeah, it looked a little like a spaceship, but was also rider focused in that it was built around the rider's need for specific cockpit dimensions. This was 14 years ago, which is pretty progressive considering the industry as a whole just started engaging in this type of thinking in the last four or five years. The Time Machine TT-01 racked up win after win and set the benchmark in aero bike development for years to come. The next bike in the story of BMC's TT and Tri history began its development in 2009 and since evolved into a pretty iconic bike. You know it as the Time Machine TM-01. Notice the name transitioned from the TT-01 to the TM-01. This is because we purposefully opened the door to focus on more than just the time trials. With this new bike, we had a few key targets. First was improved aerodynamics and integration, and more commercial relevance with additional sizes and fit parameters. But what remained the same was a continued pursuit of how the rider and the bike together contribute to an aerodynamics package. With the launch of the TM-01, a philosophy was born that expanded beyond 3P of the TT-01. It was called VMAX. VMAX was written in a style to look a bit like the mathematical equation for the coefficient of drag. It basically says that for maximum velocity, the athlete's position to perform, or P2P, and the aerodynamics of the bike, or sub A, have to work together. And to this day, this is the standard we operate off of to create race-winning aerodynamic bikes. In fact, this bike was launched at the Tour de France in 2011 and immediately proceeded to put Cadell Evans on top of the podium in Paris. If you didn't already know, he put himself in the yellow jersey in the final time trial of the race, proving that the bike was capable of performing at any level. Since Cadell's amazing performance, the Time Machine TM01 has won countless time trial and triathlon races around the world at the highest level. And of course, it means that creating a better bike would be no small challenge. From all of us here at BMC, thanks for your time and attention, and we'll see you next time. Check out part two to see how an aerodynamic evolution made the all new Time Machine 01 possible.